Hey guys, by request, White Room by Cream featuring Eric Clapton. This is the sheet. Do me a favor, pause the video, make a quick copy of this. All right, we're going to be jumping right straight into the verse part. I'm going to listen to it first. This is uh, the D5. C9, G, and then B flat C. A lot of five chords in this. Two, three, and. Okay, let's break that down. First off, you got the D5 chord. Uh, what D5 means is if I was looking at, say, a, a standard D major chord or uh, D minor, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm playing the root, the third, and the fifth of the chord. What a D5 is, is it just doesn't have the F sharp in the middle. It's just the D and the five. A lot of times the way a guitar player will voice this chord is uh, the D5. And in addition, they'll add the octave on top. So as a keyboard player, when we're covering this uh from a guitar, I tend to play the D with my left hand. And my right hand will cover the high two notes, the A and the D. And this gets played as an arpeggio between my left hand hitting the D and my right hand then following with A and D. So it's technically not a chord, and this is uh, one of the weird things, because guitar players, uh, they refer to the, uh, a five chord as a power chord, uh, a D power chord, they would call it. Um, technically it is an interval. It is not a chord. It does require three notes minimum to make a chord. Uh, but we're going to, being that I play some guitar, you're going to sometimes hear me call it a D5 chord, which is not quite correct. You can kind of get away with it. So between left hand and right hand, D5. And going upwards is an arpeggio. All right, your next chord is going to be C9. Now, if I was playing the chord normally, if I had, say, a C major chord, um, and again, I'm playing the first, third, and fifth degree of the chord, my octave would be here on this C here. Octave is the eighth. By definition, octave means eighth. So my ninth would be one higher than this eighth. It would be here on a D. So that's a C add nine. Uh, but again, it's being played by a guitar player, so this third degree of the C chord, sometimes uh, they just leave that out. So it ends up being this. It's a C5 interval with a 9 on top of it. Now, that's not much different than what we played when we played the D5. It still had the D on top. The D5 was the D, the A, and the D on top. We're going to leave the D there, and we're just going to move the D5 down to a C5. C, G, with a D on top. So the first two chords are going to go. All right. We're going to try that together. One, two, three, and... One more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next chord you're going to run up on is the G chord. Now, if we look at where we left off, we had the C, the G, and the D. All he does is take the C in the left hand and move it down to a B. That's it. That's the only change for that third chord. Now, the reason that that is uh, called a G on your paper, this B, if I moved it up an octave uh, to in between the notes that I'm currently playing on, on the, uh, the keyboard here, um, the G and the D were already in place, and this B would make a, a G chord. Instead of playing it in the middle of the five, though, I'm playing it down low. So it's a little bit uh, bigger than what we typically see on a piano, uh, but it has all the ingredients of a G chord. There's your G, there's your B, and there's your D. Just the B's not up here, it's down here. So where is that in relationship to the chord we just played? Well, we were just playing a C5 with a D on top, 
And that stays there, the C moves down to a B, and this becomes a G chord like you see on your paper. All right, so now you have all three chords. You have the, uh, the D5, C9, G. All right, the next thing that's gonna happen, is, well, well, let's take that in time. We're gonna do the, those chords, ready? One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Ooh, my bad. I'll do that one more time. One, two, three, four. See, all I had to do is not move my right hand and I would not have made that mistake. All right, and then you get the final two chords in the verse. Uh, these are B flat and C. And again, it's being done by a guitar player, so five, th five chords. The B flat is gonna be hit all at the same time with both hands. Your left hand is gonna be covering the B flat down here. Right hand is gonna cover the F and the B flat up top. All hit at the same time. Uh, we typically play B flat with a D on top. Um, it's very commonly played as a B flat third inversion, and that's what you're used to, left hand on B flat. Uh, but he doesn't include that. It's just the root and the fifth. B flat's fifth is F, and it's octave. Uh, and then followed by the C5. Again, all hit at the same time. Left hand's covering the C. Right hand's covering the, uh, the G and the C up top. So those two chords together, B flat five, C five. All right, so if I put this all together now, I have D five, C nine, G, then hit B flat and hit C, and then it repeats. My keyboard got away from me. It's on a little bit of a rolling tray. Okay, this is what you're dealing with um, with a beat. I will count you in. One, two, three, and. Okay, you can see he gets a little bit jaunty with the rhythm there. Rather than just doing a straight arpeggio of um, the D, the A, and the D, what you heard him do there was double hit the bass note D and then just hit the top all at once. And this is actually a, a decent rhythm to develop for this, like... And uh, I believe he does that after four passes. He kind of makes it a little bit more more rhythmic. Uh, and he would do that not by changing his hand position on the guitar, but just by changing how he's picking, either picking string, 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 or by double hitting a string and then kind of raking the pick across a couple strings at the same time to give us um, the two notes at one time. We're going to cover the chorus in a separate video. So... Uh, rewind anything that you need for this, go back over it, play it a few times, and uh, we'll have more to discuss during your private session. See you soon.